<laughs> Ain't no way. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has hey, long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fight, No, we don't speak about this. There was an empire known as Remuria. Chibi Arlequino is pretty is pretty cute. Would bring eternal prosperity I, I need to get one. Of the high sea. However, the God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land. But yeah, confirmed and underwater. A splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could That's escape cute, Bloss. fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. The way Let's she gets excited is so like un unlike her personality. It's a On little, it's a little we hold off dinners at the house. They hunt for food. I love that other, chair though. It float. The chair floats. They enjoy it's crazy. participating in activities like that. And the feeling is mutual. After all, Damn. it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. In a Something way. has come up. Wait, and since Sino. It pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded Wait. in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival Sumeru. of our lord. That's how oh. I gave my power. The old man We're gonna get a Sumeru character, aren't we? Me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Wait, does that that sounded like child? We'll lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate that sounded like Linny after presenting you with the gnosis. If you accept uh, Jean Lee, Monsieur Nevillet, unless oh no, that was Nevillet. I will no longer carry out any special mission. That's hot. Within the Fontaine. Wow. Oh, the eyes glow. The yep. Yep. They're doing An her justice. Order once given cannot be rescinded. Sethos. That's Sethos. A hundred percent. That's Sethos. Person, father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved. Is I've been going hearing to be about him quite a bit in these last couple of weeks. Sino was chosen. But he was not the only one. You'd Wait, like what? me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. Wait, the wisdom of he's Herman fighting Sino? I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. Wait, king of the house? I'm saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your oh, words paint so this is why she's going to become a weekly boss. Allow me to remind you, however. You're you among us are willing to sit for the last That's a lot happening. I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do. Wait, those are ways? Those are spider things. And those red things were tent spider webs. Yo, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. Damn. And no sacrifice. That's some new side mover right there. We all thought those were wings and to signify death, but they were just spider um claws or whatever. Spider legs and spider webs instead. That was crazy. That's crazy. Actually, there weren't eight, so. But still, not exactly dun, wings. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. 
Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone! Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> okay, so I'm that pretty was good. sure that, that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But nope. just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice. Okay, so I'll say this right now. The main story quest, it's going to be Sumeru continuation with Sino and I'm assuming that's Sethos. Um, and then er, and then Arlequino's story quest is going to unlock her weekly boss. And it won't be like an Archon quest. That Those are my guesses. That's what I think it's going to be. So we get Sumeru's story and an Arlequino Fontaine story quest. That's, that's basically how it's going to be in 4.6. Voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice Arlequino's of Arlequino's normal the voice father of the House of the Heart. Is... You might also recall that huh. she's a Fatui Harbinger known as... The That's too kind of a voice coming out of that chibi. <laughs> That's it's off-putting to me. Oh man. The knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. I, I, wait, wait. Harbinger known as the knave. I... I need the chibi with the eyes sparkling like that. Cause that's that's crazy. It's like a that's actually really crazy. I'm Anyways. so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. Hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny. I'll and find out he's soon. Also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. Is he beatboxing? Up, oh, me, gosh. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Why is Ito my here? Guys, my dudes. Dude. Why? <laughs> so Are you excited okay. to be here? Vibes, vibes, See you, vibes. Jack. <laughs> All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. Have fun, I've have the fun rest of your work. Be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence okay. reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the knave, the fourth Dire harbinger of moon. the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. Mm -hmm. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Oh. Father. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that our Lakino was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her yes. way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, That's remember how, we how like her, though. pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> what is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like Why she Why are you emphasize the strict, though? Impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though the kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by what her are these lessons attitude. what are these Probably lessons for their own good in an organization like the fatui these kids actually need to be more mature tough and patient than other children who are their age you know mm -hmm. that's actually kind of sad though isn't it it is yeah yeah who hurt this knave i want to know why are they this way <laughs> we no the knave doesn't get hurt she hurts us I say that she treats the kids like that and because she it. was traumatized Ooh, okay now that's very sharp of you oh, no. but let's keep our lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer no okay, okay. reveal um, them i do already. have a question though why do the children call her father 
Uh, That's a good well, question. If you're curious about Arlequino's past, then oh? you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis yep. Purgatorius, will be released with version Purgatorius. 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But, but I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced charm? her entire story. I think we already yeah. experienced her charm. Version 4.6 will and also a lot of us like it. a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if Wait, you what? use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully Wait, this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this I function guess... will become available for more hmm. and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's going wait, awesome. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, is this one you can't progress through a quest because another character is somewhere else for another quest? Which is something I rarely experience nowadays because I'm caught up to all the content. I guess that's good for newer players, I guess. I think that's what it is. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. What a cool background, though. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. What? I can't promise you'll like what you The see. thing that she does with her finger, though. Transfixed! Too many people like that, myself included. That looks like a wing, though. I want, I want confirmation on this scythe though. You can fly or glide a little bit, float. This is where you fall. Nice. Oh, oh, so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes. elegant like but deadly. I agree. Yes. Ballerina yeah, of death. So effortless. I know, right? Yes. I I like these All right. lines. Well, if we're going to talk about I like Arlequino's these descriptions. Abilities, then Ballerina gonna of death. I'm going to try and remember that. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? No. <laughs> Honestly, no. Are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Can Guys, I have a bond of life loud. with Arakino, though? <laughs> Sorry, let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the Sight, red portion though. of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond no. of life value has been healed. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Right? Very good, student. <laughs> student. <laughs> Arlequino has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar. Her okay. normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't mm. be overridden by other elemental infusions. That's good. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, mm. wait, wait, wait. No, it's a lot, it's a lot. That so is a lot. That she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wait a second. <laughs> it's okay, no, wait, guys. I get it. Wait, so it, it, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yes. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which okay. will damage them periodically. And okay. when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also her? allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know you were. Okay. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? That's so high risk, high reward. How does she stay in the fight? 
Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequina's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she okay. gains bonus pyro damage, but okay. also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Ooh. Oh, so I, Wait. that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as yeah, she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> Hello? Okay, so she wants a shield. <laughs> She's kind hey, of Derp. savage. Hey, Good morning. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring Ooh. your enemies. Yes. Yeah, and Ooh, for putting that's some a charge serious attack. pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sight though. Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh, and that's her idle nice. animation. So All right. That's During pretty good idle animation, too. 4 .6, yep. Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Can we talk more about also, this weapon, though? the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. Oh, yeah, let's go. Right. What a fine we looking were weekly just boss. talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. What Are a you laugh. ready to see a new name? Yes. Ready? yes. I'm ready. I'm so ready. The music, though. Jeez, Louise, the music's. Ooh, the scythe. Claws. She uses strings to like do a ranged attack with the scythe. Okay, that's the animation for a next phase transformation. Wait, how many phases are there going? Yes, mommy. Yeah, spider mode. So, human form, winged mode, spider form. Three phases. Ooh. Oh, the back, though. Oh, and in a survival mode, because you can't attack her when she's that high up. The music, though! Wow. The opera singing. Not even Linny and Fremenet have seen this side of her before. Mm. So, hey, no the way. Nave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it feels even more badass with twice... The badassitude. <laughs> hey, it's not no so way. simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training yes. lesson. Okay, human form. Human form. Yeah, wow, she just dodges. Like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm. Yeah, oh. it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Interesting. Instead. She hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative. initiative. Even oh, so we if they're no range attacks. The outside world will not show her children mercy. Does that so mean I can't use Ganyu? To be too forgiving to them. Hmm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. Double? Ooh. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave okay. will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Ooh. Okay, so you want Ganyu. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I said yes, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Distance. <laughs> oh, it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> yep. <sighs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. Let's leave Oof. some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I, I can't know wait that to many fight this. We'll be wondering about this. 
The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. Not anymore. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. <gasps> yeah! Ooh. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the Adventurer Handbook, going to the Domains tab, selecting Trounce Domains, and pressing Quick Challenge. Wow. Oh, that's cool. It's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy Ooh, okay, and Unfinished Reverie. Okay, wait, is this Reverie. one? Travelers is one of them for Arlecchino? It doesn't look like a matching set cool. for her. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And Ooh. for some reason, Sino I too. Got mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? Why, ho why, why? Right there. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sina wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique Interesting. identity. And the yes. two of them share a close connection. Uh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses. <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery. That looks like a young male Dihia. <laughs> like his hair is long enough. He's palely tan. He's a little bit tanned, but that's the vibes I'm getting. Mystery we'll find out. Will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only jam those food. eyes. Tainari, Kale he looks like a best friend material. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'll hate them, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second uh, story quest. Lupus, I mean, when he's smiling like that, sure, Travelers but I don't can know, man. Sumeru and investigate the secrets I need more before I sand. before I decide. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information to share. Wait, 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 wait. really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What? Wait, what are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. Can, can we can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please, oh, Damon. please, please. He can't keep getting away I with this. Do, though. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> that was me. That's what I thought. <laughs> I mean, the first code is halfway through the whole thing. Damn. I love this image. Oh, wait, the music. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? This music is gonna happen during her story quest. I wow, wait, 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 wait. I love the music. Holy smokes, this music is good. I need it. Hey, welcome back everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of our Lakino and the House of the Hearth. So, why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you yeah. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> a yes, good job. Yes. Encore, <laughs> encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Though, would Petricor. There be much to see on such a small island. It is well, a small uh, island. Yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally. Right. It is, yeah. Uh, okay, Borker has access to it. it. There's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This mm -hmm. is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So Underwater. How big was such Wait, a is that a whale? So prosperous nation, really. Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that. Is I that mean, a cat? It's a whole lot bigger. What is well, happening? That's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet. A talking cat. With its oh. guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that... 
Chat, do you guys hear the lawnmower outside that's going off right now? Please say no. I hope you guys. I hope you. I hope the answer is no. Vanished thousands of years ago. What? More cats. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. More cats. Thank you for a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not I'm, complaining I, about I, more cats. Yeah, you're so it. not getting it. Get that's okay. I will. I looks like a good obedient <laughs> cat. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. You got to swim with a cat? So you'll Unheard be able of. to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. Music you can puzzles. also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these great. powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Mm -hmm. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the world boss. Castle, also for Arlecchino, probably. The immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty Sam and of Mamie the about to smash ruler. that thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a <laughs> boss. You can earn all sorts of uh. materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such Ooh, a great tall job. Tall centaur. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who and have already pyro. completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, I have. will automatically unlock Unlock a teleport waypoint in the village oh, nice. Petricor. Perfect. Hopefully, this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting! I know. So cool. <laughs> all right, that's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. You're saying that and so now, that you could have the center all to yourself. Region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in. <gasps> yes, you do, Duma. Dirt. Yes, oh. you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah! All right! Oh, that was quick. Okay, underwater music, we, we skip. Welcome back, everyone! Hey! <laughs> Wait, okay. who's the guy with that? I hear that hat. a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. Why is Ito doing the winky singing thing? <laughs> Max, bruh. would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute. I'm very into a free Goro. I could use more Goro. It's a pleasure, hey, Kokomi. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? Oh, him. That's right, yeah. Both Hu Tao and Shin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this also, why does... It's an epic why does she have a crow on her arm? ...organized arm. by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh. oh, my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent Arataki rocking for life toward the force of awesomeness really gives off the feeling of rock Is this a rhythm of a game event? And the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically... It's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. What? Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. <laughs> yeah, a new instrument, French horn. Personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Ito yes, singing? Be, here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand oh, is this new event? instrument to our travelers called the oh, Nightwind no. Horn. Ooh. Oh no, so I'm not good at this. playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? <laughs> what did you just call right, it? There's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival Not officially. ensemble. Not in game. Practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. 
Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. What? Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. You I did didn't it. actually we need to do it. <laughs> a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So travelers will be helping. We're building a venue. Spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, <laughs> I don't think I have Goro C6 yet, melody. so this is good for me. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Okay. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Well, we can. Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music. I'm not musically attuned. I'm going to not be great. We'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say... Wind trace. Secrets and strategy bruh. has finally arrived. What? Yes. I wind trace. Secret. Love Wait. Wind trace. And and Wait. yeah, it can is this the hide and seek event? Well, that, is this the hide and seek event? It implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes. Yeah. Is this yeah, a hide and seek game? Correct. That's very interesting. It's the hide and seek yeah, game. You'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just yes. like before. But, but there are a few new rules. Mm. Yeah. When rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Oh. Now, well, they will be automatically freed after their timeout, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> De Ooh, deleted. That does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not okay. all. Okay, I might oh, have no. fun with Each this. Each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebel's goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or mm. they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it's it. It's gonna be fun. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. Okay. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be mm -hmm. super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Interesting. And in another event, I'm actually enjoying going to receive crossbow. A rather strange commission. What do you Why is there a crossbow? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Huh? Uh. Oh, yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision and uh. a jade plume terror shroom and the millennial pearl seahorse. What uh, are we doing? You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> That's a fun I thought you would react this facial way. expression anyway, on Arakino. You know? A chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon. Natlon? He started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself okay. up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from I don't Natlon mind Natlon crumbs. Saurian. Wait, what's sense. a Saurian? Mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean Saurian? Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event when the Virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce. That's, this is going to be the last game. event of 4.6, oh, okay, isn't all right, it? All right, okay, you. all right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. Negotiation. If you've got the guts, then you can take oh, on fearless the difficulty. Harder bosses. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies What the heck are those? Will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Application. We haven't had this Ooh, one in a while. It seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello? That, means that is so much incredible. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. 
Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This mm -hmm. will allow you to receive different combat. What buffs is this team? You combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. I remember Basically, this. the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramela Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. This is one of those nice. events that you only do for the Primo Gems. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, the Forge Realms Temper, Ooh, will be Farzan returning in Kuki. version 4.6. Yes. The Heated Battle Mode will also receive an update. I know which card so Sam is looking at the most right now. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more mm. easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> Maybe for our Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. All that. Mm -hmm. oh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced <laughs> so many events in one go, he's not denying I really it either. Deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I guess you agree. I was gonna well, say I, I agree, agree too. I agree. Agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's check out. Absolutely, the Sam. The last, last redemption, redemption code. Yay! Hey, what kind of music are you gonna show us? <laughs> okay, pretty chill vibes. Also, what is this eel? Why are they showing the eel on the on the right here? I didn't notice it the first time. Kind of looking. Uh, a little, uh, sussy. I know I'm not wrong. Welcome back, everyone. Next up, Teapot. we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice! Ooh. First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena Teapot, such as the Quick Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. The Avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> oh, oh, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? It's cute. Oh, and there's Arama you and bet. the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah. Nice. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go music! Yeah. Yeah, I'm so behind right. on OST Genshin stuff. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album speed this up. Music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Oh, yeah. yeah. Music my favorite. So <laughs> oh, no, y'all. It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know. Really? I know. No, so, there's one more thing. Come I on. I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. <gasps> oh, it's not so. Is there anything a minute and a half else left. I would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have an answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. Okay. You've got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for Arla Kino. Um, I mean, we did, aren't we, we did all? A lot of work aren't with her. we all? I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so oh, cool. Totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things. Mm. And um, the tongue isn't sticking out. The tongue is in his mouth. It's just that yeah, his mouth so is open because he's singing. I'm not spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It is so good and all i can say is that i had you ruined it for me no for this uh part of i, I hit you with reality and, and a long time recording so oh, um, oh my gosh yeah, that's amazing 
<laughs> wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped <laughs> for the Wind Trace Festival because I love If his so tongue much. was sticking out, <laughs> you'd, it'd be like way more noticeable. A ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. They might so even add some more excited. saliva to it too. Yes, I am. Wow, okay. I just have to say... He's literally so holding fun. a microphone to sing. Why would his tongue be sticking out when he's trying to sing? It's <laughs> a great time. Unless he's, um... So, thanks for being here. Part of the band Kiss. that's all we've got for this program. So, we will see you all in game. See you guys in the game. Bye. 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 See you later. I love you. Bye. Ain't no way. Hazo spotted 480 days after his last game in-game appearance really he's been he's been out of it for over a year i guess i guess he's finally coming out of horny jail damn